Greetings everyone, my name is Marian and today I'm going to help you better understand the measurement of energy in an electric car. You have to learn about kilowatt, kilowatt hour or watt hour per kilometer. These terms are really confusing if you want to buy an electric car or you just cut one. And even for me it was. So I'm going to explain this in simple, simple terms. Between the wheels there's a large battery pack that you can use to store energy. You take energy from the grid for later use, just like you charge your mobile phone. The battery capacity is measured in kilowatt hour and imagine the battery pack as being a pool, so you use it to measure volume. The downside of this battery pack is that it's very heavy. This one on Model 3 weighs around 480 kilograms and even if you're low on energy, you have like 5%, the battery weighs the same, which is 10 times heavier than a regular full tank. By the way, kilowatt hour is the same billing unit you get for your electricity bill at home when you use electricity for your appliances. Now, the charging power is measured in kilowatt. We imagine the battery pack as being a pool, kilowatt it's the flow. So, if you have a 22 kilowatt charging station and you have a 90 kilowatt hour battery pack, you can divide 90 by 22 and see how long it takes to charge the battery. Of course, there are some limitations for battery health, but this helps you easier understand the difference between kilowatt and kilowatt hour. Now, let's go inside and see what kind of information the three computer shows us. More confusion coming soon because we have to talk about energy consumption. In a standard IC car, you have miles per gallon, the bigger the number, the more miles you can get to a gallon, the better fuel economy you have. And in Europe, we use liters per 100 kilometers. In this car, in the Tesla Model 3 or any other electric car, we have kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers or watt hour per kilometer. In this case, we use watt hour per kilometer. For the last six kilometers, we have a energy consumption of 176 watt hour per kilometer. If we do some math, that equals 17.6 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. It gets really confusing, but the lower the number, the better your energy consumption is. Also on this tube computer, we can see how much energy we used since the last charge. We used 13 kilowatt hour at an average of 201 watt hour per kilometer. So if you multiply this number 13 by the price you pay for one kilowatt hour at home, you can see how much you spend. So in here we are close to one euro and 10 cents maybe for the last 70 kilometers almost. And here we can see how much energy we used since we own this car. So this is 1033 kilowatt hour at an average of 201 watt hour per kilometer. And if we multiply this by the price we pay in Romania, for instance, we saved about 118 euros for the last 5,000 kilometers. That's amazing. And let me tell you a secret. We drove this car from Germany to Romania and we used free supercharging. We charged only at three stations and um, the owner of this car has solar panels at his house and he almost uh, drove this car for free and this car already pays for itself. So if you drive this car for 15,000 kilometers in one year, you will spend roughly 360 euro. But, but you can also charge it for free and have solar panels, free energy everywhere. And this car can pay itself quite soon, actually. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more quality content and see you next time. Bye.